show some techniques tonight, and hopefully you learned something, you stimulated your mind, you just had a nice positional sparring, hopefully you stimulated your body. Some of us are seeing each other for the first time because it's a special event, you know, sometimes we don't see each other for a while. We had an opportunity to stimulate the heart a little bit when we shook each other's hands, when we, you know, gave each other some good energy, and um, we're here as a team. The team spirit is strong tonight. You know, we're going to recognize some of our um, teammates are moving up to degree under black belt. Some are moving to the black belt. We have one student moving to the purple belt. We want to just keep it black belt tonight. But this person is the purple belt as long as we do. And um, let's do it. Let's line up on the wall here. It's just a, a general note on, on promotions. It's typically your first promotions are the easiest ones, you know. I mean, your first couple years of training is probably the hardest, but the stripes usually they're quicker at the white belt than they are at the purple, brown, and black. And um, there's beauty in that, you know. If you were to get a black belt in your first month of training, it probably wouldn't mean too much to you. Maybe it would just increase your ego. It'd be a good conversation piece, you know. But um, when you put as much time into something as these people have, it's something really special. It's uh, special is kind of like an understatement. But for the purple belt, you know, this person is long overdue and a um, great example of determination. I know he had suffered, I believe, doing some judo. He had suffered a knee injury and had to come back. It was a really serious injury. But look, he's back and he's training harder than ever, consistent and improving every day. And this is long overdue. Now, come on. degrees on their black belt. And um, when you hit the black belt, there is, it's um, for the most part time based on those stripes, you know. The IBJJF has been the standard, it's roughly three years, three years, three years, five years, something like that. And as long as you're active in those years, you know, you're actively teaching or training or you're on the mat, you're still maturing as a martial artist. And um, their Jiu Jitsu is amazing. You know, we have professional fighters, people who fight as a career, they come in and these are really good sparring partners for them. As people with nine to fives who have jobs and families and obligations, but they still have you know, reached a level where they can be a good sparring partner for a world-class athlete. But that's, that, that's not the prerequisite of being recognized. You know? We look at the full package. You know? Like you see in college athletics, sometimes you see some programs, they'll take whatever they can to win. Kid, the guy's got a bad attitude, he's got off the court issues, they don't care, they want to win. But, but then you see some programs, no, character is really important. For you to be a part of the program, they want to have character individuals. That's kind of how we want to do things here. So I couldn't be more proud of these guys as my brothers. Uh, the first one, Mr. Chris Pinto. <laughs> are going to give the, some advice you know they're on the journey just like you are they've just been on it longer they've probably seen some things 
you know, so have some experience to share. So they'll take a minute, maybe just give some advice to some of the up and coming students. Go ahead, you can't sneak out of it, Mr. Pinto. Yeah. 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 He has a tough job, guys. He protects the governor. <laughs> Now, just uh, like I said last time when I first got my black belt, uh, it's kind of something that you don't really think about at all when you first get started. And after so many years, you know, you're still training. And for those who are just getting started, it's, you know, black belts are just a white belt that never quit. So just stick with it. And uh, even though it seems like it's challenging, just come back the next day because you'll get over it. So thanks for everything, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, keep training. Thanks. Next, um, you know, managing the school, you, a very uh, common question is how, how much do I have to train in order to get good? You know, and that's a, that's a good question. And some, you know, you would, you would assume that to get good, you need to train every day. But uh, I, I usually give people the example of Professor James. You know, when I first met Professor James, um, for the first probably eight years or so, he would come on average two times a week. You know, he um, takes him about an hour to get here, hour to get back. He has his personal life, works, family, but he's an example of someone who's consistent. Doesn't train, doesn't come here every day. These days he comes a little bit more because he's beginning to teach and he's you know, helping us with, with that. But for so long he would come twice, he was a, just a perfect example of a good student. He'd come here, he'd make the most out of his time, and he's proof that you can get really good. He's one of our best um, students. He's one of the most efficient grapplers that we have, and you know, it's great to have him. I remember the first time I met him, I thought I was gonna get jumped. He came with Gus, or he, <laughs> Gus was a uh, Gus guy with tattoos everywhere. And, you know, not here with us today, but um, you know, it's been a blessing to have James in, in my life as a, you know, as a role model and a, as a sparring partner, and uh, you know, Congratulations, James. Come on up. Thank you, thank you to all you guys. I mean, um, you know, with this art of jujitsu, I mean, you need partners, and it's you, you can't accomplish anything without your sparring partners and your teammates. So I just want to thank all you guys uh, because uh, you guys motivate me, you know, to come in week, week in, week out, month after month. So you guys motivate me. You know, all the senior students, you guys are, you know, getting so good, man. It's it's, it's crazy. So. I appreciate you guys, and even to you know all the junior students, you know you guys are getting very good. And I just I just want to tell you, you know I appreciate all of you guys, and to all of you guys, um, I just want to say thanks. I appreciate it uh, from the top. I mean, everybody gives me some type of motivation, and I actually really I take a bit of each one of you as a motivation to help me keep training and keep pushing through. It's like every one of you from the beginning to the end, every one of you have, uh, has a quality that I take and I use, um, I try to use to help me get better, you know, if I am getting better, I hope. And um, uh, I'm just trying not to keep this, try not to get emotional, but uh, Eddie and Adam, I mean, uh, Adam, I just want to say I appreciate you, man, all, all that you've done over these years, these last few years, just watching you, you become, uh, like a world-class instructor, business owner, professor. I mean, it's just so motivating to see what you've been doing the last couple years, and I just want to say thanks. I appreciate that. And the general, Eddie, I mean, uh, man, I, I, like I said before, it's not much I can say. I, I, we, I come here and you teach me jiu-jitsu, I get jiu-jitsu. That's just one part of it, but, uh, you know, even just coming and the, the talks we've had about life, and the lessons that you've given me um, just over the years is, is, is much more than just the martial art that, that you've given me. Um, uh, it's a lot, man, and I can't even say that I look at you as, look at either one of you guys as just a friend or just a brother. 
it's, if it's another word, uh, I don't know, man, it's, it's more than that. Like, you guys are much more than my friends. I guess friend, brother, mentor, uh, spiritual advisor, teacher, uh, and I just want to want you guys to know I appreciate it, man. And I've, uh, I don't know, uh, I cashed in on my chips, man. It's, I'm gonna <laughs> resurrect uh, forever, man. Uh, I'm in. I'm in. So thank you, guys. Two guys are getting promoted to the black belt tonight. They really did it, you know. They did it the right way. You know, they hard work. They've been training for quite some time. You know, there's been some bumps in the road with injuries, and you know, life gets in the way sometimes. But they're here. You know, um, we've seen through the years people will find any excuse to quit. Nothing can get these guys to quit. You know, they're they're you know they're still here. They're pushing, and they're really good. They're not just really good on the mat, they're really good people and you know it's helpful as an academy, we put this academy etiquette here to give direction to the new members, but um, they're the living academy etiquette. You know, if you want to know what it's like to, you know, what we expect and the way you should kind of, the direction we should go, you look at these guys and you know, if you have the opportunity to spend time with them, it's a, it's a really big um, privilege, it's an opportunity. It took them, you know, they've been training for a long time. Looking in the forecast in the future, the newer generations probably, probably won't have to invest as much time to get to the black belt as they have, because they've been here since the beginning, you know, and uh, they've been here when the, we didn't have black belt level instruction. You know, they've been here and um, we did it the right way. You know, I know we've seen over the years, you know, quite a few people give themselves a black belt, you know, <laughs> you have that. You know, there's some people, they come into the martial arts and they just want a black belt. And sometimes, mysteriously, they get one, you know. Or sometimes you have some people, they come and they're always asking about their promotions. When can I get promoted? When I got to do what I got to I've never heard these guys saying, no, all they want to do is get better. And um, this is something we take very seriously, talking about the spiritual team spirit, you know, like, we look at all the black belts, we're very proud of all of them, all of them. And, you know, the next two coming in, they're, they're just making us stronger, you know. And um, won't take... Any more time, it's time to get recognized. Mr. Jeff Taylor. Oh, yeah. so nice to have such good people to train with. It's a motivation to get here every day. And uh, special thanks to Adam and Eddie. Uh, like I said, uh, to watch what they've done here. Um, you know, and it, they grew this place to make it a world-class gym, the best, the best gym in Illinois. And, uh, you know, they didn't stop there. It's like, they did that. They opened up two more schools. They're constantly bringing people in. They're constantly training and bringing us, uh, you know, the newest groundbreaking techniques, and um, and that's just awesome. And you know, I'm sure for them, it's it's good to do it for a livelihood, but uh, you know, they they know it's this breeds positivity. And uh, to me, I, 
they're such good people, they want to spread that to all of us. And uh, I'm just, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for being here. I, uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. One more moment to Black Belt. And we, um, it's very hard to keep back the, the emotion because once they come, they can't, you can't stop them. But it's, you know, this, this guy means a lot to me. Um, when we look and see over the years how much time we're investing in people in our life, parents, relatives, people at work, you know, before you know it, you spend as much time with some of your training partners in here than you have maybe with your wife or with your mother. You know, right? So, you know, I, I, we, you know, it's um, really hard to even personally to imagine my own personal journey without this person. He's been there. And he's seen it all. We've shared many laughs, and um, it's just time to get, time to move up. And I'm really happy to be a part of this right now. Yeah. start but I want to say thank you to everybody everybody here and everybody up front everyone here has been a mentor to me as well like Jeff said uh, James stole all the good lines <laughs> but um I honestly have a lot of memories and been taught a lot of things by every single person up here in line we have a good crowd right here we have people who have a positive vibe and it's really helped me change my life and that's you know that's kind of the cliche you hear everyone say jujitsu changed my life but it really did you know, I started here when I was like 20 or 21 years old, and who knows where you could end up at that age. And meeting these guys here was a very positive vibe and it helped me steer in the right direction. Um, it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing, and I appreciate the kind words, Adam, Professor Adam. Uh, he's been here, Eddie too, everyone, everyone. They've been here for us. Don't stop the journey. Even though now I feel like it's gonna start all over again, don't stop the journey. It flies by, and, and I've never regretted a single day, not a single day. So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. A couple of the points that I think are very important, one was appreciation. Appreciating every day that we have this blessing that we can come together, that we can train together is very important. Because we go through life, and there are many problems that we have to tackle, many challenges. We get discouraged. The motivation decelerates, and we lose that, what we once had. So it's very important to appreciate and not let those weeds grow. Because you don't have to work hard at all, do you? They just break through the concrete many a time. You don't have to feed them, water them, or nothing. The weeds just grow. But the positive thoughts that come into our mind, we have to work at it each and every day. So everybody who's come to this side, it didn't come with them sleeping, staying home, oversleeping, skipping class, and then giving up. No, they persevered, they were thankful to be here, and they soaked it all in, and they kept going with it. And it took hard work and dedication. And every single one of them has a unique story to share. And I encourage everybody to team up at any time with a, a black belt, a brown belt, somebody who can now hold you to account at times. And you ask them to hold me to account when you start to decelerate and you lose that motivation. But appreciating every day the blessing of life. Some people die at 25 and they get buried at 65. 
because they lose that motivation for life. They just barely make it to the next day. So those lessons that we learn here, we can implement them with all the other things and challenges that we have in life. And that's that one thing, the first point, appreciation. Appreciation for many of the blessings that we have, that we've been blessed with, that God Almighty has given us. Be giving back now. It's very important that we now, we, we learn the information and then we share the good that we learn on the mat. And you can implement many of those things off the mat. Now you see, how would it be every time you came into this room? And I, and I like to, to emphasize this point because it's not, you heard Professor Adam, my brother, and I get very, very proud of him and the others who go ahead and reiterate many of the same principles. Imagine you came in here and we had that Cobra Kai mentality. You know Cobra Kai, Karate Kid, Miyagi, life lessons he's teaching daniel son, and then Cobra Kai. Kill, 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 and you know, the bully mentality, and then you take that already, the testosterone is, is building up, the ego, and, and we try to exercise the control of that ego at the same time while we're teaching the effective movements that you learn in the techniques. So now giving back to the people that are under you that every day, it's a challenge getting in here. The negative thoughts creep up, looking at all these guys, looking to be intimidating, but now you're courageous enough and you show up. So now you give back, you give back with a smile. You come and the guy's scared, he, he, you don't know how, what kind of trepidation is going through his heart, he comes in, now you guys get up, you greet the person, smile, you have that very nice personality and you make the place that we built welcoming. And then not only that, but you take, every day you see when you come in, some don't look up, but I always remind it, the best of you are those who have the best manners and character. So tomorrow you achieve that black belt and you carry those principles of integrity, of dignity, of ethics and morals and manners now that go along with the complete martial artist. You don't lose those. And those also come with the package and then you give back. You become a better husband, a better wife, a better teacher, a better police officer. Whatever it is, you give back to your community. So I covered two points appreciating those blessings we have, and then giving back. And if we can take those two, I won't go on much longer, but if we can take those two and run with them and build on that, I think this is going to help us to keep us motivated and stimulated for the long journey. How many of you want to be black belts? Huh? You guys, nobody's please left their hands down. It's like us being motivated to climb Mount Everest. Everybody, let's go, we get pumped up where you see a UFC or you see the earlier Gracie in actions and everybody signs up, but how many end up dropping out, right? So I saw everybody who raised their hands, I'm giving you some few points to run with, to make sure that you keep the mind sharp you, because it's 80% physiology. 20% now is what you do with it. So keep your mind sharp. Keep the positive thinking going. Keep the momentum going. And remember the photographic memory in your head of you raising your hands. We don't want to be, as we start climbing up, people start decelerating, turning back, or they just drop out. So anything worth achieving is going to take hard work. You can ask anybody to my right here, or even the guys that are almost there. But at the end, is it worth it? I can't hear you guys. Was it worth yes. it? Yes. OK, so let's keep it. Let's keep the momentum going. Black Belt and Beyond. Thank you, guys. Much love and respect. Team Razovic. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Rise above the average.